All right, so, so I'm playing this new game by Big Games called Pets Go. I know it probably would sound like Pokemon Go, but it's really not. But it's uh, it's kind of like an RNG game. I don't know if I would say it's like really mostly RNG because there's like a lot of aspect gameplay that we like. We have a lot of gameplay than just rolling pets in this game, but it's still considered RNG because you need a real pet. I'm going to be showcasing you guys stuff. So yeah, so there is. So of course you could get, you could roll pets for, for coins and all that. And then and to collect for the index i have the auto roll upgrade so you won't have that at first but there's also something called a skill tree where you can upgrade like stuff in this skill tree we got leveling trees so you got different upgrades like items better items item rewards more xp double xp x par jar, xp jars more jars valuable pets very valuable pets legendary pets ultra pets unbreakable band friends boost more friends better together party thrower worldwide friends and famous i'm gonna show you guys the next one so the next one is trading so for trading we got trading plaza trading booth booth skins booth skin booth skins and then we got boost which we have is regular potion well we have po uh, like potions upgrade so we got potion crafting faster crafting mode more potion recipes tier four lucky potion tier three tier two i would say the most useful ones is probably breakables dice instant half of course and you get those uh the the roll kind of upgrades like hide rolls the roll items faster auto row and tur turbo auto row yeah there's like a lot more upgrades to that to this so i haven't uh, maxed out all the upgrades i maxed out all the breakable upgrades though but also my highest roll i've gotten was a one in 290,000 which is pretty good even though I know people have like one in like a hundred million or one in like a billion even those are pretty rare like the one in one point something billion are like usually the huges and all that but there's also a leaderboard here there's also relics you could collect on the map but you gotta get like second relics to like get like up to 50 relics and once you get the potion potion upgrade you could also get the this unlock this the potion crafting which is pretty useful if you want like more luck on your rolls and the relics also help too because you get more it increases your luck permanently and then potions you could buy potions for the from this venue machine i get you guys are probably like really familiar with this since most of this stuff came from pet simulator 99 and then also the index here you could uh, index your token your index like your i guess tokens or when you get tokens you could like use them here also you could replay the animations which is pretty cool and then also there's a mailbox so people can send you like stuff but it costs a little bit send stuff depending and then also yeah there is different eggs i'm out with the wooden egg right now i'm trying to save it for the the beehive egg and then here's the upgrade fruits machine so this is like if you have like a lot of these you could you could upgrade those to like rainbow fruit and there's a, like a lot of different fruits than just rainbow fruits in this game and then we also got the trading plaza you know how that works it's like the pet cylinder 99 trading plaza and all that and then also you got an exclusive shop which that's if you want to go pay the win so the better luck it just gives you like more luck ultra luck gives you like extra extra luck on rolls and then hyper dice is like for like hyper fast rolls and then you could increase like your double luck for like 12 hours of, but that's only for like 12 hours for, and then usual diamonds you buy for robux but you can get that by trading also i would say like you can go pay to win but like you could still get like insane you can like roll insane pets from like being free to play yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't so if you don't have robux you don't have to go pay the win i'm personally going the free to play route and i still and my f uh, like like my like youtuber friends and like friends and all that have been getting like uh like really good rolls even though they don't pay the win so yeah i mean this game also had a quest, so you could do a lot than just rolling on this game, which is like, I, f I feel like Preston like finally c cooked, which is pretty rare. De yeah, that's definitely rare that you cooked with this game. And I know a lot of people are feel like basically, like a lot of Souls RNG fans are probably be like, Oh no, actually our Souls RNG is better because you could, the auras actually represent something. No, bro, they do not. They do not. 
I mean, sure, you can flex the title on your name, but with the pets, you can actually trade these uh, for, like, di like gems in this game. And then also, Souls RNG is just away. rolling. They don't really have, like, upgrades and all that. I know, like, you guys will be like, oh, you're glazing because it's big games, big games. Well, I, I would say this game's, like, the best RNG game I've played so far. So, uh, yeah, like, Souls RNG fans, you could, like, just say whatever in the comments. What do I give this game? I, I give it probably a 10 out of 10. It's probably the one of the best RNG games I've played so far on Roblox. And so good job on Preston from Big Games for cooking. He actually cooked for once. Kind of rare. For him. Yeah, if you guys want to go play this yourselves, I'll link this in the description. If you want to check out my other videos here, click on here, like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.